carrots are packaged in two different ways, either with or without the tops. When the tops are left on, the carrots are mechanically dug up in the field, then selected, bundled, and loaded on a truck. Here the truck is dumping the bundled carrots into a water bath to clean them. They will then be packed in cartons. After a preliminary bath, the carrots are moved into a sluice containing lightly chlorinated water. From here, they move to the packaging area where they are boxed and shipped to market with the tops on. The carrots packed without tops are mowed prior to digging and brought in bulk to the packing shed where they are washed, sorted, and packaged. The rollers are spaced at varying intervals to sort the carrots by size. After the carrots are placed in market wrappers, they are packed into larger transportation bags. They are then loaded onto trucks or railroad cars. Here you can see the carrots being cooled directly in the railroad cars. Here is another somewhat larger carrot packing operation. All the carrots arrive in bulk trucks. The tops have been previously mowed off in the field. The trucks are parked under shaded awnings and given a preliminary hydro cooling to maintain their freshness until they arrive here at the unloading station. Again, a series of flumes and conveyors move the carrots into the packing plant, removing loose soil and debris in the process. The carrots are washed by overhead sprinklers and move into a series of sizing rollers. This is the initial sorting area, where the broken or malformed carrots are removed. This is a large, highly mechanized operation that packs carrots in cardboard boxes, small five-pound bags for grocery stores, and the bulk 50-pound bags being filled in the area you see here. These bulk packs will be sold to restaurants. Though this is a highly mechanized operation, Note the number of people still needed in this packing operation. The long cylindrical shape of the carrots makes hand packing necessary in the box packing operation. Automation takes over for the stapling process.
Smaller bags for retail sale are filled automatically by weight in these machines. The weight and number of bags is automatically recorded here as the bags move toward the final packing operation. The individual bags are packed into larger transporter bags. They are then loaded onto pallets and finally moved to the cold storage area. Carrots that are broken during harvesting or packing are loaded into bulk trailers and are used for animal feed.